Who remembers Johnny Yor? You may remember Johnny as the second most winningest coach at Michigan and the 1976 NCAA Tournament National Runner-Up. But in today's video, we're going to go in depth with the timeline and life of Johnny Orr. His coaching career started out in 1949 and in 1951 coached Dubuque Senior High School in Iowa. In 1963, he accepted the job as head coach for UMass and led their first season with a 15-9 and record. Then after three years of that, he accepted a job as the Michigan assistant head coach and in 1968 received the head coaching job at Michigan. Then in 1973-74 season, he made the Elite Eight and was named Big Ten Coach of the Year. And then of course, in 1976, was the runner-up for the national championship and named National Coach of the Year. He then became the second most winningest coach at Michigan with a record of 209 wins and 113 losses. Then Iowa State called in 1980, where he would spend the next 14 seasons coaching the Cyclones, a struggling program in Ames that hasn't seen the NCAA tournament since the World War II era. His salary went up from 33000 to 45000 as taking the job of Iowa State's head coach. After three seasons at Iowa State, he led the Cyclones to their first postseason appearance since the 40s. In the NIT first round, the Cyclones were defeated. Then the next year, the Cyclones made the NCAA tournament but got out in the first round. But the year coming up to that, they finished second in the Big 12 and then made a run for the Sweet 16 in 1986. And in that year, they also beat Johnny Orr's old team, Michigan Wolverines, that were ranked five in Hilton. He produced good players like Fred Hoiberg, Jeff Hornsack, and made a winning record with 218 wins and 200 losses at Iowa State. One thing people remember Johnny for is, of course, his entertaining post-game show. Here's John, the last loss I had was against you in the regionals, baby, with your Michigan, Michigan team. And we kicked your You're <laughs> <laughs> beating the number two team and number three team in the nation now, you know. Just in case you want to put that in the paper. <laughs> Fred, bartending's a hell of a lot better than coaching. Cheers!